Hello and get ready for one of the most roller coastery videos ever. We're about to answer one of the most heated debates in the hair dyeing community, and I am so ready. I'm assuming it's gonna be a roller coaster video. I haven't done anything yet, but <laughs> I'm slightly nervous. I'm not going to lie because this is something that I should have like debated and like put to rest a long time ago but I'm doing it now. So I am an avid hair colorist. I love dyeing my hair. I love doing it myself. I love giving myself the weirdest, most complex hair colors ever. And I like changing it up every single freaking month. When I was younger, I used to dye my hair with what was available to me um, at the time. That used to be boxed hair dyes. This has been something that has been argued so often within the hair dyeing community of the do-it-yourself at-home hair dyers versus the hair colorists in actual hair salons. What are the pros and cons of using boxed hair dyes available at supermarkets versus salon grade dyes? We're going to figure this all out today because today I am going to be dyeing my hair with boxed hair dye. <gasps> I'm so nervous, but I'm so ready for this. Freaking, let's go. This video is going to be a roller coaster for multiple reasons because I'm also going to introduce to you, before anything, one of the best things that I've ever had the privilege of using and figuring out. Oh my God. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to save your money. Sorry, today I'm gonna to teach you how to buy stuff and get money back for it. Let me explain. This video is in collaboration with Letty Shops. Letty Shops is a cashback service that works with more than 2,000 online brands. I'm talking AliExpress, Etsy, Sephora, Booking.com, Douglas, Boohoo, Revolution Makeup. You go on Letty Shops, you register, you sign up, whatever, and then you get to browse through all the different shops that they have. There are so, so many ones. There's bound to be one that you like. There was even Supreme, there was Vans. There were so many good brands. Then you can click on it and you will see that this brand offers a certain amount of cashback. These typically range from like 1%, but I've seen even up to 40% cashback. And if you buy anything from the website that you have selected, you will get money back. Ah, why didn't I know of this before? Oh my freaking god. It is really, really easy to set up. The cashback is applied almost instantly and you can opt for a payout as soon as you want through PayPal. It is so easy. It is so efficient. I am so happy I discovered this. Oh my freaking god. I'll put a link to it down below in the event that you want to check it out. Please do so if you're an online shopper, if you love shopping online, this is going to be freaking amazing for you. So I actually got dyes from two different websites, lookfantastic.com and lifeandlooks.com. Both of them offer cashback. I got cashback for both of them. <laughs> I am going to opt for this color today because I think it's a really, really gorgeous color from lifeandlooks.com. It is by Schwarzkopf. It's a pure purple 086. But Stella, you're not going to put anything to rest because this is going to look good probably in any way, shape or form. It's meant to look like that. It will be great if we can compare it to Salon Grade Dance. You are right. I am going to take this hair dyeing experiment one step further by dyeing half my hair with this box dye Schwarzkopf color and the other half of my hair with Schwarzkopf salon grade dyes. Both of them are going to be Schwarzkopf, so I'm going to keep this really, really fair. And we are going to put to rest whether box dyes really are as bad as people say or whether they can pass a salon grade. Dyes. I'm not really going to be comparing the actual colors because I do not have too much faith in my color matching, I'll be really honest. I am going to be judging how the color looks, if it looks like it's already faded, what the color payout is like, if the hair feels silkier or rougher, what the texture is like, stuff like that. This right here, which is the box dye, cost me six euros and 35 cents. That was before shipping, but it's a pretty cheap price. Obviously this is the dye, a developer and also a conditioner inside. In comparison to salon grade dyes, they are considerably more expensive. This is what a salon grade tube of Schwarzkopf dye looks like. This is what the box dye looks like. As you can see they're the same size but this on its own costs from six to nine euros. 
quite expensive and that's not even looking at the cost of developer i forgot how much this cost i'm assuming it was over 10 euros really cannot remember if we multiply that by however many tubes we're gonna need we're looking at a considerably pricier die so the first thing i have to do is figure out what the hell color to compare it to let's see if we can figure out what this um actually means on the color chart this just says 086 there's no such thing over here there's an 089 this isn't even a die it's a booster <laughs> wait actually no it's quite similar holy hell but this is just a booster i'm still going to need a base and an actual color that i can boost the color with 7982 is that a good color too dark these three colors all look exactly the same but this is 089 this is 7982 and this is 998 but they all look exactly the same i don't know how bright this is going to be so i don't know if it needs a booster this doesn't look purple to me this looks burgundy because this is 60 ml i need to make the exact same amount with the rest of the dice so 45 grams of 7982. I'm going to mix in 10 grams of 998 and then I'm going to add 5 ml of 089 booster to hopefully give me a really vibrant burgundy color. I'm going to use 20 volume developer for this one and we're going to leave it on for the same time. I'm going to very quickly mix it up and then figure it out. <laughs> Starting with 7982, 45 grams of this dye. 10 grams of 998, 5 grams 089. 20 volume developer and adding the exact same amount, so 60 ml. Next up, this bad boy. Now that you're actually meant to mix it up in here, just literally give it a shake. But I've got decency and I've got honor. I'm no way in hell doing that. Well, in this case, you don't need to measure anything. Same thing with this. We're gonna mix this in here and we're gonna give this a mix as well. This one looks more pink, this one looks more purple, so I think I actually screwed up the, <laughs> the color concoction a bit. But we're going to see what this thing actually results in. As you can see, the colors are already looking different. This is the box dye. This is the not box dye and it is looking more pink. Ooh, I am so scandalous. I'm wearing literally nothing but this. Next thing we most definitely have to do, barrier cream. Use something, use Vaseline, use freaking butter. I don't care. This thing is most probably going to stain all of our skin. Try avoid that from beforehand. Great, now I've got a shiny forehead. So nervous. Okay, um, I am using the box dye on the right side of my face and the salon grade dyes on the left side of my face. We're gonna give this a go now. Starting with salon grade dyes. done this is the side of the salon grade hair dyes now i'm going to do the other side my hair is shedding like crazy this time of the year let's dye with this time
I've just finished the oh, well, the massacre. It looks like Jesus Christ, Stella. What the? This is why you wear a T-shirt. I thought I really messed up with the color. I'll be really, really honest. I mean, even when you look at freaking these, you can see that there's a drastic difference in how they look. They look freaking the same on my head. I've actually just run out completely of the box dye, and I just managed to do half my head. So if your hair is as thick as mine, you'll definitely need two, and if your hair is way longer than mine, you'll probably need around three or four to completely cover your hair. So just keep that in mind. I will show you what it looks like soon. Okay, bye. Hello, I am back. This looks the same to me. Like obviously it might completely change color once I try it. But this looks, these look identical. Only tiny difference I'm seeing is that this has a slightly bluer hint. This is more pink. I'm going to dry it, style it, and then I'm gonna be back to show you the completely finished result. We'll see, I'll see you tomorrow. Also, I ruined my nails, now they, <laughs> <laughs> they look so stupid. <laughs> Bye! Did someone say October? Because I did. Welcome to Dark Haired Stella. I haven't worn an up to in so freaking long and I especially haven't had anything with volume in my hair for so long. So, let's explain the end result. This is what I was left with, okay? I dyed it, I washed it, I completely let it air dry, I styled it. I am so shocked. The one tiny difference that there is between both sides is that in my opinion, this one seems to have a bit more of a purple tinge and this is the box dye version and this one seems to have a slight more pink tint. Why? It looks right off the back. I'm gonna say I love this color. I've gone this color so many times. I think it's splendid. I think it's amazing. The money piece adds a bit of a pop because this was obviously bleached and this was natural. The color it took on different levels. It's it's how hair works. It is very similar in terms of color payoff. Both were pretty easy to apply. I would personally never recommend using the applicator that comes in a salon dye. I don't think it makes anyone's life easier. If you have a bowl and a brush, please use them. It'll make your life so much easier. They both felt the same in terms of quality. It didn't feel like either made my hair feel better or worse. I know that obviously salon grade dyes typically tend to have a lot more beneficial ingredients. They have aloe vera, they have keratin, they have Moroccan oil. A lot of these ones typically do not. In my opinion, because I dye my hair so much and my hair at this point is probably so dead and damaged anyways, I could not feel a difference between both sides. I feel like even my roots are quite lush. One doesn't have more shine than the other. If I didn't know any better, I would say that both were dyed with one or the other. Actually, I'd say that it was done at a salon, but that's just me. One thing I will mention is I am someone who likes to have a lot and a lot of creative freedom. I like to have the individual colors that I can tweak and design to my liking. Obviously, when you're getting a box dye, that is literally what you're stuck with. You're gonna need to buy three, four, five different box dyes to get a custom color for yourself. What is my final verdict on this whole debate? Because it went very well for me, this time does not mean that I am endorsing one or the other. Let me explain. When I was 15 and 16 and I was just in the beginning stages of dyeing my hair and I didn't have any other options because salon grade dyes are typically not sold to individual customers, something like this is perfect to be able to have the power yourself to dye your own hair. A lot of people will tell you, don't use them, go to a salon, get it professionally done. But you know, you also have to factor in the fact that salons typically cost a lot more than box dyes. It's also a lot more easily accessible. I got this online, I'm gonna link it below. You're welcome. They have a ton of different colors and they are quite affordable. If you want to do it yourself and if you're adamant on dyeing it yourself and if you also are not too fussed about hair quality, about color changes, about potential fade outs, this is an okay option for you. If you dye your hair, 
with black box dye, I, 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 that I'm not endorsing at all. Please, whatever you do, do not dye your hair black with box dye. Once this girl came to me, she had pitch black hair. She's like, I've been dyeing my own hair black for many years with box dye. And she's like, I wanna see if I can go gray. I'm like, I can try. I put two bleach sessions on her, 40 volume bleach, which is the highest level of developer you can use. And the black did not budge. She came in with black, she left with black. If you do respect your hair quality, if you do respect your hairstylist, if you do respect your future self, I still would recommend using salon grade dyes and going to a professional. These are very fun colors until you come to a really fun event and all of a sudden you're stuck with the weirdest hair color concoction. Your hair stylist can't do any better and that is what you're left with. Also now I'm pissing off so many hairdressers in this video. Oh my God. Hopefully <laughs> I could answer some of your questions on what's worse. Or better. To all my online shoppers, please check out Letty Shops. It is an amazing, amazing cashback service. I used it. I've gotten money back, actual money back from spending money on hair dyes. Okay. Everything you could possibly want probably on Letty Shops and they all offer a variety of cashbacks. I'm going to leave the exclusive link down below for you guys to check it out. Hopefully I will save you some money. I'm off to go wear my brand new hair because I really like it. I've missed a good dark moment. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it and I will see you in my next video.